Looney Quest is set up to be kind of like a old school video game that you might have played on the Super Nintendo if you're my age or that you have never played in your life if you're younger than me. So each three of the sheets might be designated to be one level. So like this is level one and it's got a like Aztec ruins kind of feel to it. Level two or level three is a desert. Level two is an ice world. And so in each level you're presented with a map that looks like this. You'll also be given at the bottom of the sheet some rules. So in this particular sheet it shows that you're going to draw circles around the bird looking statue things and don't hit the blocks. Each level is designed like that and there's some various challenges like you might draw a line or you might use dots but often you will have obstacles on the level that you have to interact with with the drawing. So what you're going to do is take one of these little level sheets and you're going to put it in the box and put it in the center of the table. Each player will then take one of these whiteboards and a clear plastic sheet and one of these dry erase markers and you are tasked with trying to get the most points by drawing what you see on the level. Once the timer has run out, everybody will take their sheet one at a time and place it on the drawing. Flip it. All right, and go. Once you put the drawing on the level, you will then count up how many points you got for meeting the goals and count off points for any penalties that you may have suffered. You then keep track of your points with these little sticks that you just kind of slide in the outside edge of the box and move it around as you get points throughout the game. Oh, man. I'd say you got two of those. <laughs> So you also get six points. Nice. There are usually six stages to each level, so you'll play each stage of a level, and then whoever has the most points at the end of that level wins. Now, you might be hearing these instructions and think, I can do that, and I'm going to master it so quickly. And in the first few levels, yeah, you're probably going to do fine. But as the game progresses, it gets harder. So the lines that you have to draw may have to be more precise to avoid getting the penalties, or maybe the things that you're trying to circle or target, you have to be more precise with your drawings. Uh, we have definitely seen as we progress through the levels that our points that we get are gradually decreasing. One other thing that I like about the game is each level has like a boss at the end of it that's kind of the hardest stage of the game. And so each of these little elements really adds to that great theme that Looney Quest has of kind of an old school video game. Now besides the points that you can get on the levels, there are also these bomb and lightning bolt pieces that you can get that will give you bonuses and penalties in the later turns. So for instance, some of the penalties you might suffer are you have to draw with just your thumb and pinky holding the pen, or maybe you have to draw with one eye closed. There's also bonuses that give you more points, but also allow you to cause the other players to have to suffer some sort of penalty, for instance, one that you can give to a player you throw onto their board and they cannot move that from their plastic piece uh, for the next round, so they have to draw around it. It really adds, like I said, a, a layer of interactivity to it, keeping it from being this weird game that you're all playing at the same time but really not communicating with each other in any way. Those little elements really give this kind of a fun you know, friendly, lighthearted vibe that really works for this type of game. And, and I also love that anybody can play this. Like, an 8-year-old is just as likely to be as successful as a 30-year-old, as a 50-year-old, as your grandmother. In just a few months, this has become a game that I'll break out with almost any gaming group and maybe start off the night with, and everybody has loved it that we've played with. I took it to a family reunion and I had younger and older cousins standing in line waiting to play their turn. Um, I've played it with church friends and they're wanting to do the next level as soon as we're finished. It's just a really good game that I think needs to be in your collection. I know that here at One Board Family we recommend a lot of games and often I try to clarify like if you're this type of gamer, if you're this type of gamer. For Looney Quest, if this sounds anywhere close to something that you'd be interested in, you need to go out and grab a copy. It works for such a wide range of ages. It has a lot of replayability. I mean, you will never master this game, in my opinion. 
and it's only $20. Like, there's so much game in here, so much fun in here for $20. I really can't think of a person that I wouldn't recommend this game to. So if you're interested at all, if any of this sounds like it'd be fun maybe, I think you should go out and buy a copy of this game. Thanks for watching. If you want more reviews, interviews, and all that kind of fun stuff about board games, you should subscribe to our channel. You should like this video because it's amazing. And also check out more that we have to offer at OneBoardFamily.com. Until next time, go play some more games. Like Clooney Quest. Yes, do it. Say bye. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Just do it. Okay.